Hey, what's up? Before I get into the meat of this video, I wanted to go ahead and give an update on the Doom Eternal situation. Mainly to say, it removed the Denuvo anti-cheat. Good shit, id. Good looking out. Thank you for listening to the community on that. I've been binging Doom since the update went live, and I just wanted to address it in video form. I feel like just putting a comment on the... The Doom video I made wasn't enough, so I figured why not actually just address it real quick at the start of my next video. Um, Alright, on to the main subject. This is going to be a short one. So, it was recently revealed that Valve, the company behind Steam, is releasing alpha builds of a censored Steam client for the Chinese market. And if you know anything about China, you know China and censorship go hand in hand. Currently, Steam is partially banned in China. You can play games already bought through the service there, but community features and discussion forums are not available. Because, you know, we can't allow the free exchange of ideas in our totalitarian government. Don't want the masses getting bright ideas that we aren't perfect or anything, you know. Uh, but the current version of this client will actually prevent users from playing games between certain hours in order to comply with China's guidelines on gaming. On top of that, profile pictures are all set to the Steam default and names are replaced with ID numbers until approved by the Chinese government. Yeah, that's not Orwellian at all. Also, apparently if you boot up any game in this client, which keep in mind it's an alpha, so you know, what I'm saying is probably going to get outdated in like a couple months, but for now, if you go into the, you know, the system and you try to play a game, you get this quote-unquote health gaming advisory, which includes statements like boycott harmful games, reject game piracy, and exercise self-protection, avoid deception, which, considering what government we're talking about here, yeah, that doesn't sound sinister at all, but anyway. As you can imagine, people are concerned about this, and I don't blame them. The only, like, big video I've seen, I mean, big channel I've seen covering this so far is The Quartering, and he had a vid on this, and, you know, he he was concerned about, his concern is that these restrictions may creep their way into normal Steam, you know, for everyone else. And also, you know, just a general idea of Steam basically censoring themselves to cater to China, which has done so much fucked up shit, it's not even funny. But, um, just to keep brief, he's not, he's concerned about that, and I'm not gonna say that, you know, this could never happen. Unfortunately, I can't predict the future, though Todd is still working on that, he says it's in prototype stages. But, in all seriousness, I can't see a good reason for them to implement the same, the same rules onto regular Steam. Because if they tried to do something like restrict the time you're, you know, allowed to use your products that you paid money for, it would rightfully cause a massive fucking outrage. And I'm sure there would be enough backlash for Valve to realize, yeah, that's a bad idea, let's not do that. Not to mention their competitors like GOG, who, you know, probably aren't gonna do something like this, are most likely gonna see an uptick in users and sales because of that. That would actively hurt Valve in, you know, every other market, which I don't think would be, would be, you know, a smart business decision. The only way I could see them doing this is if China like put like a ridiculous amount of pressure on them and was just you know going to dump funding into them like an absurd amount of funding where it justified doing it to everyone else they could lose every other market out there or something like that that's the only way I could see that happening and I'm not sure how likely that is not to mention I got a feeling that if you start doing shit like this a lot of people are going to try and sue like I could easily see a class action lawsuit being made by like a bunch of pissed off people who can't play their games and I would be right there with them. Which if we're in the timeline where something like that happens, uh, I will be making a video on that because fuck that. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on this and I would recommend everyone else keep an eye on it too just to see what happens in the coming years or so. Um, if this does creep into Steam though, I'm, I'm hopping over to GOG. Hell, it's making me want to use GOG a little bit more just as a precaution. But yeah, Valve, uh, catering to China like this, not a good idea. I know you want that money. I know you guys, you know, want that money because you're a business. Your whole goal is to expand. But, um, yeah, not a good look. But if it is 100% isolated and restricted to just China, 
all right, you know, I still don't like it, but you know, as long as it's not affecting me, so you know, whatever, I guess. All right, I know this was a short one. That's really all I got to say about this. Um, I'm gonna be working on a larger video on something hilarious that happened this week, but it probably won't be till later. All right, you guys stay safe and you know, take care of yourselves. <laughs>